Hi guys, I'm Kelly and I'm gonna guide you through a 30 minute sock core practice today. So we're gonna be using a couple blocks and socks and a hardwood floor. Um, we aren't gonna use the mat too much today, but we are gonna warm up a little bit using the mat. Uh, so today we are gonna be on our hands a lot. So I am gonna warm up your shoulders, your wrists um, a little bit more beforehand, but remember to take breaks as you need to. Even when I'm not cueing those breaks, um, you wanna make sure that you, know, you don't have too much pain in your wrists or um, you don't wanna have pain in your low back while doing any of these exercises. And I think that's really important to recognize, um, especially when we are doing core work, sometimes our low back wants to take over and do some of that work. So just make sure you are using your ab uh, abdominal muscles and you're taking breaks. Um, come to your knees, drop to your knees whenever you need to. All right, so let's get started. We're going to warm up with a couple of um, shoulder exercises and some Pilates core activation. So you can take one of your blocks or both of your blocks and when it comes to, to a hero's pose, again, if hero's pose isn't comfortable for you, you can always just be seated, cross-legged or um, standing too. We're gonna take the arms out to the sides and like you're holding dinner plates on your hands, just start to squeeze the shoulder blades down and back and really open into these external um, shoulder, uh, shoulder rotators. And we're gonna bring those hands now underneath the body. Again, try to not drop your plates. Reaching back with the palms. And then bring the elbows back under, or hands back under, elbows out. And open back to where you started. Reaching out to the side, spread through the fingers. Take a deep breath in, exhale, curl, elbows in, bring those plates underneath the armpits and reach back and up. Do that a few more times. Go under armpits, out to sides, reach wide, come back in, under, reach back. Keep going just like this. You know, it's kind of awkward when you first start to do these um, mobility exercises for the shoulder, but they are so good to warm up your shoulders with. Let's do one more. In, under, reach back, reverse, and out. Let it go. And we're gonna do some wrist stretching. So bring your palm facing forward, fingers facing down. Just stretch the arm out as much as you can. And then we're gonna bring that hand down towards the navel, bend the elbow, and do that same movement. Extend, bring in, extend, and in. Straighten and bend, straighten and scoop. And then we're gonna do that on the other side. Left palm out, facing fingers down. In, bend, scoop. I'm gonna be using our hands quite a bit, so this will be nice and important for you. Good, shake that out. Now do the other side. We're gonna do the opposite way though. So right hand facing, palm facing you. Fingers facing down, squeeze the, squeeze the hand. And then scoop in, bend, and reach. Straighten and bend. It's kind of like you're scooping in towards your navel. You wanna get through the whole, especially that space right on um, the top of the thumb. You wanna really squeeze nice and hard there. And the other side, squeeze. Curl in towards the navel. Again, holding all across, kind of pulling the skin of the hand down and holding the knuckles in towards each other. Just giving that hand a little bit of pressure, a little bit of a squeeze. All right, and then release, shake it out. Now we're gonna invert and evert the hand. So grab a hold of your, right, uh, your left wrist and you're just gonna pull 
the fingers over to the other side. So we're stretching the front part of the wrist and the front right part of the wrist. And then go to the other side. And then do that again, just pulling the fingers over, stretching the front part of the wrist and release. Do the same thing with the other hand. So you're pulling again, grabbing a hold of the wrist, pulling it off to the right. Pull it off to the left. Again, to the right. Kind of stretch the top part of the wrist. And relax, shake it up. Good, come down to your back. Now we're gonna start with some Pilates exercises. So just keeping the back to the ground, elongate the spine on the floor. Take a breath in, exhale, lift the feet, press your hands into your knees. See if you can really elongate your spine on the ground. I have my socks on, but you don't have to have your socks on for this if you don't want to. We're gonna take a breath in, and then we're gonna do an exhale, and this is gonna be a staccato exhalation with a five count press. So it'll look like this. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, lower down, reach the arms overhead. Exhale again, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, reach. Exhale again, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, reach. Notice my knees aren't going anywhere. They're stacked right over the hips. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale, extend. Now keep doing this. Exhaling, two, three, four, five. This time, see if you can inhale, straighten the legs, straighten the arms. Exhale again, one, two, three, four, five. Feet nice and active. One last time, exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, straighten out. Get that 90 degree angle with your whole body. And release, bring your right knee into your chest, left leg to hover. And switch, left knee in, right knee out. And switch. This time lift the shoulders up off the floor. Curling knee to nose. And switch. And switch. Go a little bit faster for six, five, four, three, Two, try not to let the head drop, the shoulders drop. Good, now we're gonna extend. Leg to the sky, right foot to hover, grab onto the back of the leg, little pull in, and switch. Exhale, exhale, inhale, switch. Exhale, exhale. Keep going with nice straight legs. Little pulses on that exhalation. Try to imagine your rib cage going down towards your hips, closing that gap, cinching in the waist like you're wearing a corset with that exhale. Okay, let's do one more on each side. And release, take a big stretch out with the arms and legs. Get as long as you can. All right, and then curl the knees into your chest. Rock yourself up to a seat. All right, now that we got all warm, let's take both hands back underneath the shoulders. Spread and press into the fingers. Now lift the knees, come back into down dog. Deep breath in, and then I deep breath out, sink a little bit more into that down dog. Maybe bend the knees, chest back to the thighs. On your next inhale, press forward, come out into plank. Exhale, slow, lower down, hands in line with the chest. 
Inhale, shoulders roll back and down. Come up into baby cobra. And try to slide those hands back just an inch towards your rib cage. Try to hug and pull yourself through using your back strength. Good. One more breath here. Exhale, release. Push into the ground. Lift the hips, belly. Come up into tabletop or plank. Exhale, back to down dog. Nice. Let's do that one more time. Inhale out to plank. Exhale, slow lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, roll the shoulders out and back. Come up into either baby cobra or full extension. Hands over the shoulders, underneath the shoulders. Exhale, pike the hips back and come into down dog. Good. All right, let's step the heart, hop the feet up to meet the hands. Take a big inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale, forward fold. Good, inhale, press into the feet. Let's lift and reach it up. All right, nice. Take the feet a little bit wider than hip distance apart. We're gonna reach the arms and just take a nice side bend here. Arms straight up into steeple mudra and then tip your body to the right. Keep breathing. Come up to center, over to the left. And up and release. All right. Now we're gonna take away the mat here. So go ahead and move your mat out to the side. And we're just gonna, again, use the hardwood floor and our socks, or you can use a blanket underneath your feet if you'd like. Let's take our blocks and uh, place the blocks to the floor. We're gonna come into a plank position first. So slide both legs out, come out into plank. Press the ground away. You want plenty of room on both sides of you because we're gonna use it. So I'm gripping my blocks a um, long ways to start with. We're gonna cross opposite knee to elbow. So just keeping the foot on the floor, cross and crunch. Come back out to plank, over to the other side. Knee to elbow, back out to plank, knee to elbow. You're using the press and resistance of the floor getting a little bit of feedback there. Trying to bring your toes closer to the block each time. Good. All right, let's do one more. Now kick right knee to left elbow and we're gonna slide that foot out. So flexing the foot hard here. Nice. And then take it all the way down. Slide to your bottom. Might have to bend your knees. Drop your blocks, bring your blocks down lower, or you can come all the way to the floor here and just hold it. Stay with that breath. My back hip, back leg is point uh, is off of the floor and toes are pointed back. Come into a nice little twist. Good. Now slide yourself over to your bottom and we're gonna face wide with the legs. Okay, so your legs are out in a straddle position. We're just gonna take a little fold and dip the chest down to center. Inhale, come back up. Roll to your uh, right, so roll to the top of the mat. Push into the blocks. Tuck the back toes, scoop and lift the hips off the floor. And I'm gonna slide that right foot back. Now do the other side. Left knee to right elbow. Kick the foot out, slide it out. And then slowly come down the outside of that left thigh. You can drop the blocks or come down to the floor. Try to really focus on this IT band stretch so that left ankle stays really flexed and engaged the entire outside of the leg. And again, kind of leaning forward into that twist. Nice, lift yourself back up, turn to your right, 
Come down through the center, wide-legged straddle. Inhale, come back up to center. Bring those blocks back up. Tuck the back toes under, press and lift, scoop navel in, slide it back. Come back into down dog. Again, most of that weight is in the upper body. Just letting the chest melt through. Good. Tip forward, come out into your plank. Deep breath in. Exhale, tuck. I'm gonna bring the knees into the chest this time. And then slide out. Tuck in. Slide out. Again, use the feedback from the floor. Scoop in. Navel into spine, tuck in small. And squeeze out. Try to come into that full plank position each time. See if you can do three more. Or your personal best. Good. Remember, engage your hands. Press into the blocks and squeeze the fingers. One more time, squeeze in. And let's take a forward fold. Release. Let the upper body go. Shake out the legs a little bit. Nice. Okay, let's come down to a seat now. Bring yourself down. Have a rest. Let's take a shake out through those wrists. So nice big figure eight motion with the wrists. Okay. I know, those wrists are probably <laughs> not used to being there for so long, supporting our body weights, okay? All right, we're gonna take the right thumb into the fist, grab a hold of the top of the hand and just pull down. You want the inside of the elbow to be facing upward and straight. Shake it out, curl the thumb into the fist, pull it down on the other side, straightening the arm. Now we're gonna do an L stand, or an L sit rather this time. So you're gonna keep your blocks right by your hips and we're gonna come up off of the, off of the bottom. Okay, so pushing into the blocks, lift and scoop the hips off the floor. Squeeze navel into spine. Again, if you wanna be down a little bit lower, you can always bring those blocks down. I like to have them a little higher. Good, squeezing, bringing those hips behind the wrist creases to activate the lower belly. Hold it, 10 more seconds, I know it's hard. Five, four, three, two, and release. Good, shake it out, let it go. Take a big inhale, reach the arms up overhead. And exhale, reach through the spine as you release the upper body over the thighs, taking a forward fold. You can always bend the knees as much as you need to here to release. Good. Just a few more breaths. Now, this time we're gonna do that same L sit but we're gonna try to bring the feet back, um, or bring the hips up, rather, to come into a reverse plank. All right, bring the hands back by the hips. When you're ready, pushing up off of the hips. Lift and squeeze the navel up and in. Now slide your hips forward, the legs forward. Lift up into reverse tabletop. So toes are pointed hips, chest up. As you exhale, you're gonna come back into that little uh, L sit and then roll back out into reverse tabletop. Really push the hips up. Good, this time see if we can come all the way back into plank. So squeeze, come back into the L sit, knees to chest. Okay, now we're in this little tucked position and we're gonna try to push the hips or push the feet back, okay? So squeeze, hips go back, back into plank. Take a breath. 
Good. Exhale, see if you can come back into that L sit. Knees in, legs out, L sit, and down. Good. Release. Again, make sure rolling out those wrists, releasing, taking time to let go. What we're also doing here is we're trying to stretch out our legs at the same time because that we, as we get to the end of the class, we're gonna slide out into a split. Okay. All right, take your left foot in, and move the box to the side, take your left foot and right leg out, sit up tall onto your sit bones, and again, we're just gonna tip ourselves forward over the right thigh and drop it. And soften into that fold. And get those toes straight up to the ceiling. Nice. All right, let's switch sides. Left foot out, right foot in. Lift it up, exhale, tip down and forward over the left thigh. And then just sit with that stretch again. Deep breaths. Regain that breath. And then come up. All right. Let's take the blocks, come back up to the top of the mat and come into a forward fold. So again, just releasing over the legs. Feel free to walk onto your hands if that feels good for you, kind of stepping on the hands here and Padahastasana. Letting the wrist toes kind of come into the wrist creases. And then release the palms up. We're gonna take a lunge. So grab your hold of your blocks. As you rise up, we're gonna send the left foot back, okay? So we'll turn the face this way. So you can see, we're gonna slide that left foot back, come up into your lunge. Now just reverse that movement. Slide it up, come back up to stand. Make sure that the front leg is staying grounded. Now bring the right foot back, slide the right foot back, arms up. Weight to the left foot, bring that right leg back in. We're gonna keep alternating here, just sliding back one foot at a time. Good, one last time on each side. Left foot slides back, right foot slides back. Come up, take a breath here, and then we're gonna come back onto our blocks. Take a forward fold, hands come back down. All right, so we're gonna do, go back out to plank and do a lizard pose and come into a lizard pose. So we're gonna go nice and wide with our legs. So it's important to have room on both sides of you. So. Back into plank. We're gonna take the right foot, sweep it all the way around. Come out forward, flexing the foot. Bend the knee, sink into lizard pose. Okay, lift it back up. Right foot sweeps back around. Just kick anything out of the way. <laughs> Left foot comes back out. Flex the foot to start with and then bend the knee out to lizard pose, drop into the hips, and sink in. Sweep it back around, back to plank. 
Good. Take a rest if you need to here. You can come down to your knees, tend to child's pose. Or we can keep going. Plank. Kick out to right toes lift. Bend the knee, sink into your lizard pose. Feel free to drop the back thigh down towards the ground. Lift off. Sweep it all the way around. Left foot. Out in front, flex. Bend, sink. Good. Lift around. Plank. Nice. Again, take a break if you need to. Come off the hands, back to child's pose. Hero's pose. We're gonna do that one last time, coming around. Plank. Sweep the right foot around, kick and flex. Bend the knee, drop your hips down, come into lizard pose. This time we're holding it. If you wanna lower your down your blocks and maybe your elbows to the floor here, that'd be great. Or you can even bring your fists onto your blocks if you wanna stay a little bit more lifted. If that back knee is bothering you and you don't want it on the floor, you can always keep it lifted, no big deal. And let's take a little twist while we're here. Right hand to the thigh, look over the right shoulder. Come back in. Let's lift it. Slide the right foot out, all the way back into plank. Hold that strong plank position. Again, navel in, heels back, or er, tailbone towards the heels. Left foot kicks out. Flex, bend, drop. Bring the left hand to the thigh, open up the hip, lean back and away. The chest, pull the ribs in. Let's move it back to center. Lift up off the back knee, slide that left foot all the way around. Back to plank, all right, and then tuck your knees into your chest. Come into that small little ball. Squeeze in. All right, and exhale, fold. Let it go. All right, now we're gonna put that lunge and split together now for this last part. So, arms are gonna reach up overhead. Take a big breath in, slide your left foot back. Very carefully, grounding down on the right leg. Sink, hands come down. And then here's where we're gonna add a little kick. So right foot kicks forward. Back toes are staying curled under, flexing toes to your, front toes to your face. Good, squeeze in and hug, like your inner thighs are trying to squeeze together still. And then we're gonna pull everything back in one at a time. So bend the front knee, back up into your lunge, press into your right foot to stand tall. Now go to the other side, right foot slides back. Hands come down, kick the foot forward, flex. I'm gonna get those toes positioned directly up towards the ceiling, knee to the ceiling, back knee to the floor. Now one at a time, bring it back in. Left knee bend, arms up, hugging through your belly, stand tall. All right, go one more round. This time we're gonna add that full split. So slide the left foot back. Remember, you don't have to go there if, you don't, if you're not ready today. Hands down, kick right foot forward, flex. Now we're gonna do that split up into pike and back out. So like your inner thighs are squeezing in together, you're gonna slide the feet in to touch. 
and then slide the legs back up. Again, slide in and out. One more time, slide in, squeeze. I'm gonna make sure those slots are really slippery. And out all the way, come down. If you want to here, you can put your block underneath your right hip if you're pretty close enough to the ground. You drop your back knee to the floor, or you can even use your mat to make more of a cushion for that back knee. I know it's a little bit awkward, but <laughs> it's also fun, right? <laughs> okay, now we're gonna come back up. So you can do one at a time or you can squeeze your inner thighs together to come back up. I'm gonna do it one at a time. Bend the knee up to lunge, lift it up to stand. All right, I'm gonna do that one more time on the left side, left foot forward. So right foot slides back, stabilize your lunge, Hands come down. You can stay here, kicking the foot forward, and doing that same um, bend the knee, come up to stand. Or you can squeeze the inner thighs together, piking, and then sliding the left foot forward, right foot back into that split. Squeeze and release. And when I say release, we're not actually releasing the muscles. We are still keeping them really strong and en engaged. One more time, you can slide it out. You can put the blocks underneath the thigh. Back knee can drop down towards the floor. Now ideally we want the back knee to face the ground, but um, if it's a little bit out to the right side, you can always bend it. It's not a big deal. Just work with what you have. And then once you're ready, squeeze or come back one at a time, bending the knee up to lunge, stand. All right, nice job. We're gonna cool it down now. So you can let go of your blocks, relax your mat again. That was not too easy, right? <laughs> Pretty challenging, I know. Let's move the blocks out of the way here. And we're gonna take the legs out off of the mat. So we have just a little bit of the feet on the mat, the socks on the mat. And we're gonna slide it down one layer at a time. As you get to your bottom or your back, you're gonna reach your arms overhead. Take a nice stretch, sweep the legs out towards three o'clock or four o'clock. You wanna get that nice C shape with the spine. Maybe the arms kind of walk over to the same side. Feel free to cross one ankle over the other. And then uncross your legs, slide one leg at a time over to the other side, over to the right, up to eight o'clock or nine o'clock. Make that C position with your body again, or half moon position with your body again. Again, feel free to cross the ankles. Feel any tension drop out of your shoulders, your legs. And let that core soften. And then open the legs back out. Slide one foot at a time out 
and come into extension with arms and legs out. Imagine you're gonna slide and push your right foot into the wall in front of you and the right arm into the wall behind you. It's so just lengthening that side out a little bit more. And then do the other side. Press the left foot out, left arm out. Almost as though you're trying to climb a invisible ladder. Again, right arm, right leg, reach and extend. Left arm and left leg, reach and extend. Good, and as we get back to center, I'm gonna bend both knees, bring the back to the floor, open up the knees and open up the feet out met distance apart, and big windshield wipes here from side to side. And you let the head move in the opposite direction that the knees roll. And then take as much time as you need to here, whether that's with a couple more poses, maybe knees to chest or happy baby pose, or you can step right into your final resting pose, into Shavasana. And feel free to stay here for as long as you need. 